said nobody ever. But what if I told you that you are and that you should choose the major that you want and not the major you should, take the gap year you've been dreaming about? What if I told you you didn't need to have absolutely everything figured out by the ripe age of 18? Unless you do some extra credit. This is Extra Credit, the show where we talk about student experience beyond the brochure. Life post braces but pre-bungalow, saving you all the Google searching and Reddit threading one video at a time. On today's episode, I give you how to disappoint your parents in five easy steps. Graduating is like learning how to swim, but you learned how to swim. And if not, how to stay dry. We are going to drown those first year out anxieties. Step one, choose the major that you want. I hear this so often, being insert widely respected high earning occupation is the safer option, but there is no such thing as a foolproof plan. This logic is misleading for a few reasons. For starters, anybody I've known who thought that they could trick themselves into finishing a degree they had no interest in ended up spending even longer in school. Oftentimes when people avoid majors because I want to graduate sooner than that, or they're too risky, I'll never find work doing that, they ultimately come back to it after their less invested choice falls flat. The heart wants what the heart wants. Secondly, what's in demand is always changing and completely relative to the time. You have no idea what the future looks like for certain. Like who would have guessed that we'd get hit with a pandemic? And what did people do while in quarantine? They watched a lot of movies and TV. Some news outlets are even saying that COVID actually rebounded Canada's film industry. Suddenly being a film student doesn't seem like such a waste of time, said the jaded film major. Step two, take your time and change your mind. Now I know some of you are probably wondering why the interests and hobbies portion of your brain is seemingly empty no thoughts. It probably became vacant around the same time it's weirdly decided that teenagers can only have hobbies competitively. It's like you're either training to be an Olympian or a musical prodigy and recreational activities that are just for fun kind of cease to exist as you get closer to post-secondary and then to career and life things. The idea of hobbies becomes almost like luxury or fluffy or extra, but that can make it hard to decide what you do want to do because so often the feeling is just, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I love, I don't know what I would love, I don't know, I don't know. That's okay. If you just want to keep learning things, treat college courses like Costco samples and whet your appetite. Or if you're unsure that school is even for you and you don't want to waste the time or the money or both, then don't go. Just don't go. Just don't go. You don't have to, no one's making you go. Just don't go. You can always go later. You can always go later. And in that time you spend outside of the classroom, for the first time since you were four, I swear, like, we are born with tiny little backpacks on. We just come out and we go to school. You'll quickly realize whether you miss it. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. Old distance. And honestly, I don't know who set the stakes so high, but I can promise you there actually isn't some trap door that opens up and swallows you whole in the counselor's office if you decide to change your major. And you know, nothing is really a waste of time because at the very least, you were learning what you didn't like. Step three, explore your options. I promise you there's more than three career paths that will lead you to success. I've been told by so many successful adults that the job they ended up doing was a job they didn't even know existed out of high school. Job variety is spoken about very little, so I think most people don't realize how many options there really are for them. All the niches and specialties and jobs that have yet to exist waiting to be picked out by you before you settle on the first career choice your BuzzFeed quiz gave you. I did one of those once and it said that I should be a, a garbage man. And our final step is at any point in time, Go back to step one and start again. And honestly, I think a lot of the time our mind is made up. It's just that fear or that you know nervousness around doing what we actually want, holding us back and clouding us with this indecision. Freshly 20. So I may not be an expert, but I am an amalgamation of all the advice that's been given to me by people who, and I quote, don't want me to make the mistakes that they did. And I'm sure you've heard that one before. So to honor their do-overs, let's save ourselves a step. If this generation can speak on anything, it's the uncertainty of everything. 
Graduating high school is an ending, but more than that, it's a beginning. It's when you really get to start being your own person. So own it. And yes, disappoint your parents if that means making yourself proud. Cheesy alert. And that's all the extra credit I have for you today. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below to let me know what you'd like to see next.